So welcome. And let's set up. Let's begin to set up. Begin to gather things. Begin to find a place in your space that feels like it's your own or you can shut the door or you can just kind of have 20 minutes of a sanctuary together. Uh, and I'm, I'm a big advocate for um, being unafraid to move. During med meditation, I'm I'm not a huge advocate for full-on stillness for the entire time. I think that oh, hello everybody. I think that our skeletons and our day-to-day -day lives are often not nourished enough where we can necessarily be comfortable sitting in a way that we actually get to let go. And we actually get to get through the body enough so that we can get to the mind. And we can actually experience a sense of relief and release. So gathering those things and setting yourself up, whether that be sitting, you could be on a chair. You could also be lying down in a favorite restorative posture. You could have your legs up the wall. Taking the time to explore a shape, a position in your body today, knowing that it might be different from maybe something that felt really comfortable yesterday. And listening in, what is it that you need right now? What is a shape that you can do with your body for the sake of inviting in exactly what you need today and just loving and celebrating yourself enough to really take the time to meticulously prop yourself and put yourself as if you're kind of like tucking a little baby to put it to sleep being unafraid to make any micro movement, micro adjustment, especially in the next minute or two. To really put your body into a place that feels completely nourishing. And when you get there, close the eyes if that's comfortable for you. And go inside me. Notice. And notice. And notice, what do you notice? Notice your breath, notice its rhythm, its pulse. Is it deep and long or is it kind of shallow and choppy? Without changing it for now, just notice. Now notice your thoughts. Notice the tone of your thoughts. Mm. 
What are your thoughts thinking today in this moment together? And now notice how your thoughts make you feel. Do they make you feel happy? Do they make you feel good? Do they make you feel joy? Are you feeling love today? Are you not feeling the love today? Are your thoughts making you feel anxious? Irritated, annoyed? Do they make you feel angry? Without changing your thoughts, what is the tone of your thoughts today and how are they making you feel? Good. Keeping the eyes closed. And again, if you need anything else to make your body that much more comfortable, this would be the moment to do that for yourself. Beginning to breathe bringing your awareness, your mind's eye, your brain to your breath. I'm gonna do a couple of rounds of breathing where we inhale and you're gonna hold at the top and then we're gonna exhale it out. Inhale, can you fill the abdomen with air? Continue to inhale, can you fill the rib cage, the entire thorax with air? Can you fill the chest, the collarbones with air? Can you fill all the way to your brain with air and then hold? Suspend. Hold. Relax the body. Relax the shoulders. Relax the thoughts. In this moment, you are breathing. If thoughts come in, I am breathing. Good. Keep holding if you can. Exhale slowly, control the air as it comes out, deflating the thorax. Exhale all the way out so that the abdomen kind of sinks towards the spine. Yes, ha. Huh. Relax the jaw, inhale, begin again, right from the pubic bone, inhale, fill the belly, fill the ribs, fill the chest, up into the skull, inhale, inhale, inhale. Even one more sip of an inhale and hold. Suspend the breath. Sending prana to the pineal gland. And exhale slowly. At the bottom of the exhale, inhale into the belly, into the ribs, into the chest, fill the throat, fill the skull, and hold.
exhale, surrender the air out of your body to the space around you slowly and controlled. Exhaling every ounce of stale air. And at the bottom, inhale, beginning right at the base of the pelvis, into the belly, just two more times, into the ribs, into the chest. The throat fills, sends it to the skull. Inhale as much as you can and hold. Suspend the breath. Can you inhale a little bit more air as if you were sipping through a little straw? If not, who cares? Don't worry about it. But just try. and hold, and then can you sip one more, and hold. And notice the thoughts that come in. We are sending fresh oxygen to the higher centers, energy centers of the body. And then whenever you're ready, exhale slowly as if you could exhale from the crown of your head, through the throat, through down, through the thorax, deflate the rib cage, deflate the abdomen in towards your center, all the way out, exhale all the air. And again, inhale, beginning slowly, control. Fill the base, fill the belly, fill the ribs, chest, collarbones, throat, into the skull, and hold, suspend. Notice parts of your body potentially clenching to help hold the breath. See if you can let them go. If you can, can you sip a tiny bit more air as if through a straw and then hold? Maybe one more, maybe two more and hold. Feeling your heartbeat coming into the inside of you today. Exhale slowly, allowing it to begin from the skull to the throat, to the chest. The accordion of the ribcage comes in, down, belly suspends back towards the spine, all the way out. Press every exhale out that you have inside of you right now. Everything, let it go. And then inhale, keeping the eyes closed, returning to your natural breath rhythm for 20 or 30 seconds, just notice. If the mind gets busy, bring your awareness now to your belly, the center of you.
and notice what feelings are present there today. Maintaining soft, organic breath. Beginning to harmonize the breath to the mind and the mind to the body. Now bring awareness right to your solar plexus. And notice Are there feelings present here today? If it was one word, one feeling, what would it be? Now bring awareness to the heart center, to the center of your chest. It radiates through and back behind you. Between the scapula. Notice what is the feeling here today? And don't panic if this feels weird or hard. Don't worry. Whatever I say doesn't resonate, just ignore me and stay inside yourself. What is present in your heart today? What is the feeling? And not what do you think you feel, but what are you actually feeling today in your heart? And whatever it is, can you allow it to be okay in this moment? Whatever it is, can it be okay? Bring your awareness now into the throat. Notice. What is present here today? Is there a specific feeling that is present? If there's a lot, that's okay. If there's none, that's okay. Now bring your awareness, your brain, your mind's eye, your thoughts to the center of your head, right in between the eyebrows. Bring your awareness to the third eye, just behind it, the pineal gland. Is there a feeling that's present here? Now, can you bring your awareness to the entire you? Noticing what is your truth today?
allowing now the tangible part of you to begin to disintegrate and dissipate into the space around you. As if you had no limit. Just for a moment, letting yourself kind of get floaty. As you allow yourself to just release completely into the atmosphere around you. Noticing if that's exciting or maybe that's scary. Or weird. Noticing how if we allow the shell, the physical boundary to disintegrate, dissipate, and mix with this every atom around us that we could really all be together in this moment right next to each other. Connecting from your heart or from anywhere else in your soul at your essence today into the matrix. That supports you. That celebrates you. that sees you and honors you no matter what part of you shows up to the party. Reaching each other Being together in frequency. As we know, we are really mostly water, vibration. Surrounded by a electromagnetic field. Connecting to the frequency of each other together. And looking around and sending complete love, joy, admiration, Maybe even there's some bliss in there. Sending into your web, into the matrix tonight, what do you need to send out? Because what we send out is what comes back to us.
remembering that feelings of fear, hatred, anger, frustration are lower vibrational frequencies. Remembering that what's true is connectedness, not separateness. The one who is invested in us, believing more in separateness than togetherness is the ego. Can you be daring and brave enough in this moment to let yourself go? enough to receive it, whatever it is that you need right now on your path today. Can you be strong enough in your love for yourself to know how to not believe the facade of the manifestations of our conditioning. plugging in to ourselves and then to the air, the space, to the matrix, to each other, and then to the planet as a whole. As if we could send a web together around the planet and hold it. What is it that you want to send to the planet tonight? Whatever it is, it's okay. Taking a moment to infuse the earth with maybe what it is that you need or maybe not. Inhale, and then open the lips, and exhale. <sighs> Coming back to the matrix of each other in this web. Of heart lines and connections. and then beginning to slowly but surely shrink back into your skeleton here today. In the building that you're in, the town, the state, the country, the moment, the year, coming back into you today.
and ask yourself, what is it that you can do for you for the sake of transforming fear and stepping more and more into love? Or what is it that you need to let go? so that the true change can come. On a global and local level right now, we are all, as a humanity, really being stripped of any capacity to arm ourselves guard ourselves, shield ourselves from revealing our vulnerability. Because vulnerability is our power. It can be our sword. And when we step more and more into our vulnerability, then people, situations cannot use our vulnerability against us. We are being called to transformation. A shift. and just sending gratitude and love to yourself for a moment. Celebrating yourself for wherever you are on your path today. Even if it's dark, hard, or painful. Or completely blissful. Celebrate wherever you are. See yourself in your power. And from that place, ask yourself, what is it that I can do? What's one thing I can do every day, starting tomorrow, that invokes more vulnerability? even if it's uncomfortable, even if it's a hard part of myself to love. And hold that. Put it inside you somewhere like a jewel. Hmm. Find your breath again. Inhale. Through the nose. And then exhale. Crack the lips. And exhale. Three more times. Inhale. And exhale. <sighs> Beginning to squeeze little muscles, flex muscles, roll your shoulders your neck, reach your arms over your head, begin to move, harmonizing the brain, to the spirit, to the soul, to the breath, now to the skeleton. beginning to transition if you're lying down or if you have your legs up the wall. 
Let's all end together in a seated position. <sighs> Taking your time. If you're already seated. And if your legs are crossed, I recommend cross your legs the other way if you haven't already. All of us in this moment together scattered across the globe. We are connected. And what we do on our own in our apartments, isolated or on a farm outside, what we do, the choices we make, the thoughts we think has influence and impact. Finding a seated position if you haven't already and then close your eyes again, come inside just for one more moment. <sighs> Bowing to the part inside of you while bowing to the part inside of all of us here tonight and bowing to the part inside of all the people in our lives that are around us or with us every day right now. <sighs> bowing to the part of us that can be too afraid to shine. That makes mistakes. And now bow to the part inside yourself, inside all beings, inside of the beings that are around you. That is God. That is the divine. That is oneness. That is the universe, that is wind that is peaceful. That is whole. <sighs> and either bring your hands together or bring them to the heart or your lap, whatever feels like it's an expression for you tonight. of sealing off whatever experience you had, even if you felt distracted or this was weird and uncomfortable, or if you went somewhere so deep that you're having a hard time coming back, or if this awakened fear, sadness, anxiety, if this awakened a sense of bliss, whatever your experience is, Seal it off. Hold it and do something to seal it. Hold it within you so that it can be there later when maybe you feel alone. And it can be there for you to recharge from. And then just taking a moment to bow to whatever it was inside of ourselves that got us to 
the grandmother medicine of Costa Rica, and that got us to really one of the most profound massage therapy programs on the globe. Bowing to the staff, the administrators, the school, the vision, the curriculum, the trees on campus. Bowing to the transformation that that time was. Bowing to whatever that time was for you. Namaste.